Yeah. yeah. Well, hi, folks. How are y'all doing? <laughs> I think we're going to be really good after you tell us. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm Justin Marshall, and I'm here to uh, explain to you guys a little bit about how we're going to fight cancer and how we're going to win. Um, this is our first symposium here in Medicine Hat, Canada, and we're meeting here today on this beautiful day. We're going to talk about talk about fighting cancer and some of the different ways that I've done it personally that have worked well with me and I'd like to share with you. Uh, we're going to start with diet. Um, now, you won't hear this from the doctors and I've actually done a lot of research uh, asking dietitians and, and been directed from the doctors to these dietitians. I've asked them direct questions about these things and got no answers. So I went and did my own research and then used myself as a guinea pig and what I found out is that you can um, cut certain things out of your daily diet and supplement them with other things. And by doing this, you're going to be stronger and healthier. And some examples are, instead of having meat regularly, have meat very occasionally, if even at all. Red meat, that is. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You could substitute that with fish. And I recommend fresh caught fish, not farm-raised fish. Farm. Yeah, um, if you can get a hold of it. Also, chicken's good. Um, as long as it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, antibiotics, not antibiotics, but growth hormones yeah. that people put into yeah. cattle and chicken now to grow. So if you can get stuff that doesn't have that, because I believe that grows cancer, you know, these growth hormones mm -hmm. and uh, if it's even in milk, you know. So yeah. when you get your milk, try and get organic milk. Yeah. When you get your food, try and get some organic stuff, even the vegetables and stuff. Um you can steam charred beets. You can steam broccoli. You could uh, take broccoli and put it on the barbecue. You can you can juice beets. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things will build your blood. Okay. Now, when you have problems with your blood and you need to build platelets and stuff like that, there's certain vegetables that are good for that. Beets being one of them. Yeah. Uh, beets are extremely healthy, and you could grow them or you can get them at a farmer's market. You can quarter them and dice them and steam them, and then make them into a beet salad. I do this daily. I have beet salads every day. I'll steam them, lightly steam them, and then um, and I'll just put a little bit of uh, lettuce or something like that, maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar if you like that, or whatever you want to drink it up. Yeah, dress it up. Um, another great one is kale. The kale yeah. doesn't taste good to anybody. There's no way about that. So you could add things to it. You can uh, steam some kale with some spinach or with some chard, mix it together, or you could juice. If you guys got a juicer, yeah. uh, if yeah. you oh, use yeah. it, Use it and then get bulk amounts of vegetables, you know, and... Um, yeah, well, I get the spinach, kale, and whatever mixed together. Yeah, Is that perfect. a good combination? Beautiful, beautiful. Or... Juice it and then throw some apples in there. <laughs> That'll make it sweet, you know. Uh, and I like throwing uh, strawberries. Yeah, there. strawberries are great, you Have know. Have you heard of the macro greens? Is it yeah, macro greens? Micro, macro greens, yeah, those are great. That's the, the juice that I just bought just from me on. And it's got lots of yeah. the kale and all of that. Yeah. And antioxidants. Yeah. Okay, now let's go, to, you mentioned antioxidants. Now, antioxidants are a great thing, except for when you're doing chemo treatments, okay? You, you want, if you're, like, I just did a chemo treatment today at the hospital, so I'm not going to do any antioxidants today or tomorrow. I'm going to let the chemo do its job, which is an oxidizer, and then the day after tomorrow, for the next week, I'll do a bunch of antioxidants to build my body up. But if you do, if you do antioxidants, and chemotherapy at the same time, it goes against each other and it fights what you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. But at the same time, when I'm doing a chemo treatment, I will do a double dose of this stuff here. The Phoenix <laughs> Tears. Yeah. Now Phoenix Tears are a it's a marijuana oil, okay, and it's it's extracted by using Everclear alcohol. Mm -hmm. So you'll take a couple ounces of pot, good buds, organic uh, bud, and you'll grind it up, you'll soak it in Everclear for 24 hours, allow it to extract, the Everclear will extract the medicine from the pot, mm -hmm. and that would be the CBD and the THC. And then you'll strain all that pot out of there and you'll have this green alcohol, and you'll just basically evaporate it with no heat. So now, how does that work? Well, how it works is there's two ways to do it. You could put it on a burner, like on a, um, uh, you put it in a Pyrex dish, a baking dish, okay? Your, your Everclear that's been um, mixed with the pot, you know, it's green alcohol now. You put it in this baking dish, you keep it away from open flame, 
because it's highly flammable. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you could put it in a, you know, those like, um, they're a skillet with sides on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could put a skillet on low and that temperature will be at about a hundred degrees. Oh, you put the skillet on low and you fill it with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you put your Pyrex dish in there yeah. and then mm -hmm. you allow that hundred degree water to evaporate off the alcohol. But see, the thing is, these are the same thing right here. This is 0.5. Uh, this is a half a gram per tablet of cannabis oil. This is a half a gram per tablet of cannabis oil. But this stuff here was heated above 160 degrees. Okay, this stuff wasn't. So this is what I would recommend for you because this has not been activated, which means when you heat the cannabinoids above 160 degrees, mm -hmm. it activates them, which goes to your cannabinoid receptors in your brain and gets you high. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. We do not want you getting high. What we do want is just the stuff that hasn't been activated. So when I'm telling you to use the, um, the skillet to heat the water, and then you put your Pyrex dish in there with your green alcohol and allow maybe eight hours for it to all evaporate off, and then that will not be carved or decarved, yeah. which will not be activated. It's very important that you don't activate it or else, like my dad took one of these um, a couple, about a month ago and he thought he was on Mars. He wasn't quite sure what yeah. planet he was on and stuff <laughs> like that. And then, then he took one of these and he was cool. Um, he, he was like really, really doing well. Mm -hmm. So that's an important thing. Also, I want to talk to you guys about um, prayer. Now, Prayer is one of the most important things that's helped me through this because of faith, okay? I'm not afraid of dying because I know that, you know, everybody at some point, you know, is going yeah. to go. And so it's, I'm, I'm really living to live right now and I want the most out of each day. Um, but then, you know, you, you're also living each day for God, you know, and in the, in the prayer and then you, you can pray to God for more time and, and ask if it's in his will, please, you know, help me to know how to do this so, uh, you know, we can serve him best and, and love him and, and be good, you know, people like he wants us to be happy and healthy. And so prayer has been the most important thing that's helped me because it's given me strength too to fight, oh, yeah. you know, if, if it, or else a lot of times when people get diagnosed with cancer, they, the doctor tells them some bad news. They drop their guns. They have the tail between their legs and they just give up really fast. And, yeah. and other people like us, we don't do that. You know, we want to fight and we want to live longer because life's a great gift. And it's a special, it's a blessing, you know? Absolutely. And so we want a little more. And so in order to do that, we have to do our part. So um, if we're going to do chemotherapy, which I'm not against. I, I used mm -hmm. to be a very against chemotherapy. But now I realize through, I'm on my 57th round of chemo today. And, mm -hmm. and it's working. Um, mm -hmm. But I do it in conjunction with the oil and with the diet and, and with the prayer. And, and then also like, um, I don't cook with any... Uh, hydrogenated corn oil or butter, I'll use coconut oil now. And it's really good on my bowels. Um, coconut oil is very easy to get. You know, you can get it at Safeway. You can get try and get organic stuff if possible. But you can cook everything with it, from eggs to meat, chicken, anything you're cooking. Uh -huh. um, um, you know, you have fun with fruits and vegetables, okay? They're so good for you to build up your body. And, and what you really want to do is build your body and make it strong. So if you've got to do a treatment, you're able to fight, you know? Yeah. And we want to minimize the treatments. So we want, to, we want to slow the growth of the cancer down with this and potentially kill it with the oil. Now, my, my oncologist in California, um, when he saw me and I had hundreds of large tumors throughout my chest, and he goes, well, you know, we're going to have to fight and there was no way to operate. We couldn't take both lungs out mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, I would do a gram a day of cannabis oil that was not decarbed. So I'm able to take a large amount. And I would also do heavy amounts of chemotherapy, a great diet, a lot of juicing. But then all of a sudden the tumors turn black on, on a CT scan. And the doctor goes, wow, that's amazing. You're dying. And then I would go back and they're gone. All the tumors are gone. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, first, I must say thanks be to God yeah, for this right. because it's a miracle. But secondly, we've done our part. Yeah. We, we've done a healthy diet. We've done the oil. And it's not always fun. I mean, you know, look at the oil. You know.